Can you guys hear me? Can you even see me? No, I figure this out for the fucking life of me. Hey, motherfucker, like, load it up. What's the deal? I don't know if you guys can see me or not. Ah, finally, here we go. I have to look at the fucking comments on my <clears throat> iPad because they won't show up on my screen because StreamYard isn't affiliated with Rumble. I just had the, the worst time trying to find the comments on here. Now I get it. So you got to go to your page and then you got to click this freaking button here. And there are the comments, finally. You know, I've been live like, at least three times trying to get this to work and it is not work and <laughs> finally i can see something everybody type a comment if you can see me because i can't see you i gotta look down the whole time to see you that's so weird and you can hear me everything's fine there okay well now do me if, if it is which i think it is because you guys are talking um hold on a second I don't know how to run this shit. Here we go. Here the fuck we go. So. It has been hell the past two weeks. I feel the best I felt in probably two weeks, but I need to take my medicine. I've been staying up on my medicine and all that. I have felt like shit. What happened? To Twitch is no more. Bye. Fuck Twitch. I will never go back there. First of all, they break me over the coals for fucking money. I, I never made shit on there. Even when my people would like subscribe, they took half of it, maybe even more than half. Because in like my mind, I always thought I was about to make more each month. And then I would always have like a heartbreak of it being a quarter of what I thought I was going to make. And then I started reading and breaking it down and I, I wasn't having it. So I quit going on there as much and shit because I realized how much money they were taking. And they're like, really, they're all about the censorship over there. And I didn't like it. And I never felt like I could be comfortable when I was alive there. So somebody reported me when I was in the hospital showing my wounds or whatever, my battle scars, and got me for graphic content and nudity. 
and that upset me and I appealed it and they declined my appeal and made me, uh, I still had two weeks suspension. I told them, mother fuck them, go ahead and terminate my account. I don't want nothing to do with them. That's wrong. There's all kinds of things wrong with this. And you're probably letting someone who's playing a fucking card better than mine win over this. And I'm shitty about it. So I told them to take their shit and fuck them. And I did. And I'm never going back to Twitch again. They're too sensitive. They take up for people who are no good sons of bitches. And I'm just fucking done with them. That's it. So fuck Twitch. You can go ahead and delete me if I'm on there. I shouldn't be on there. Um, but no, I'm never going back there again. I don't like it. I got to see if I'm uh, leaking. Oh, my God. So if you didn't know, I had skin removal surgery finally. There's my heart. And uh, it's been brutal. Like, I have had plenty of surgeries in my life. Plenty. And lots of heartbreak. Lots of fucking teeth aches. Tooth aches lots of uh, pain. I, I fucking lived with ulcers and didn't realize it. 22 at one time. And I still have those people. No one believes you when you say that. And I had like four of them were bleeding. And I didn't take them seriously. I kept boozing like a motherfucker and everything like that. And I ended up blowing a hole in my stomach and almost dying May 19th of this year. Um, so I went through that pain, but nothing compares to the pain of this surgery. Nothing it compares to the pain of them. Yeah. That, well, I like Twitch. I really did. But I felt like the way they did me was so wrong. And the fact that I have in my head, no, I can't prove it. But I have in my head who fucking did it. And I know that he would play... I'm just mad about the whole fucking situation. This is the second time. They already screwed me last month. They made me wait 30 days. I was suspended. And then I waited my time. And then I just was like, that put just a bad taste in my mouth, okay? And then not even two and a half weeks later, I'm getting suspended for two weeks again. I can see where this is going. Go ahead and shut it down. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction or some other motherfucker, some raggy out in New York, the satisfaction of getting my fucking Twitch terminated. So I went ahead and terminated the motherfucker myself. I didn't make very much money on there anyways. It didn't matter. And I know I can't say 100%. Do I know who did it? But in my heart, do I know who did it? Fuck yeah, I do. Hold on. It takes me a minute to get up now. Hang on. All right. By the way, Baby Bop Bops is here. Move slow these days. Give me a second. Okay, I was really, really bad Wednesday, like s terribly sick. Hey, Just Me Charms. Hey, Mitsu. Carolyn. JJ. Lemur. You guys can drop links in here too, and I'm fucking broke, so please hit up my PayPal. Please, I got bills due, and I'm fucking broke, broke. But it's my fault. I can't get myself up. Oh, that pill just is all. It's my fault. You know, I keep telling myself this. Like, I'm, I'm miserable. You all get after. I keep saying, baby, you just had to have a surgery, didn't you? You just had to. You just had to have fucking gastric bypass. This, I would never, ever do again. And I don't recommend it to anyone. How did he get away with it, JJ? I put up a channel and I'm shot down within a, a couple days. He's had one for a couple months. This is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. I don't even care. Whatever. Fuck him. You know, what am I going to do about it? Nothing. I don't care. I don't care to spend my time and energy online fighting with fucking drag queens or fucking assholes or narcissists or anybody else in between. I, I ain't got time for it in 2024. I got to really think my fucking life around. So anyways, I was so sick on Wednesday. I had to go to the emergency room again because I stood up. And when I tell you, like, a bucket of, like, a gallon, okay, like, a gallon of not good shit, pods and infection fell out of my incision. I'm, not, I'm probably minimizing it. There was so much coming out, and the smell knocked you to the fucking floor, dude. It was so gross. Hold on a second. It was so... I'm forcing myself to. I can't, I can't go on like this anymore. I can't, I can't even take a shower by myself, guys. And today I decided no more of this. I've got, I've got to do it, no matter how much pain I'm in. So I doubled up today on my shit, and I'm gonna click, 
I'm going to clean and cook because I was really, really sick on Wednesday. Like I said, all the infection came out. I uh, went to the emergency room. Thank God. Yeah, it feels better, a little bit better here, I must say. All right. I heard that this is the place to be and it has been the place to be. I just, like, kind of slow walked over here. Um. Anyways, I went to the emergency room and my surgeon happened to be on duty. So he came down and seen me and he literally just pushed all the infection out. It was so gross. Again, the smell, I can't. He put me on um, antibiotics. I got to take it three times a day. I got to go back and see him Tuesday. I'll probably get my drains out on Tuesday. Definitely one. Um, he said that this drain draining, it, it's normal. Like, no, of course, it's not. but the fact that it's coming out instead of staying in, I do have a slight temperature, but that's to be expected. You know, I've got infection in me, so. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm sorry I'm so pale. I look like I've been in the house for a solid week. Actually, it's been two weeks since I've gotten out. Today, I did go out to lunch with my parents. This is the first time I've gotten out since Janny came and visited. I haven't been able to get up myself off the couch or anything. I'm in the sick motherfucker, dude. When I tell you, and I, I, you know how I am. Like, I have a high tolerance for pain. This, I know later you were talking about, I would not do it. Oh, my God. I just wasn't. This is bad. Yes, ma'am. So I'm still very, very swollen. As you can see, I actually have in my pockets are my grains. Down there, I have tons of padding on because that's where the infection's coming out at. Drama Tin wants to say hello. Everybody say hello to Drama Tin. She hasn't been on the camera in a while. She feels like I'm hiding her. Drama. Hey, Hollywood. Deja vu. I'm forcing myself to feel better. I mean, like I said, I doubled up today. I went out to lunch. I got, I ate some good salmon. I feel like I got some good, I got good protein in me. Um, I ate a little bit of mashed potatoes. I have some left over at um, Applebee's right now. Don't let them sucker you into it because they got us today. They advertise $13.99 and you can get a salmon or steak with shrimp and two sides. Or you can get chicken and riblets or riblets and shrimp or chicken and shrimp okay so we get there and we're like fuck yeah me and my dad of course want the salmon and the shrimp and my mom wants the steak and shrimp and we get it and we get our bill it's like 23 bucks a piece and my mom's like I thought it was 13.99 and then the way and then we look at the menu again and uh it, it starts out at 13.99 that's the chicken and shrimp all right and then the riblets are a little bit more and then when you get to the, the actually the salmon's more expensive than the steak so me and my dad's were 21 nine. it didn't matter it was fucking big. it was the best meal i've had in two weeks probably I mean, it was so good, and I still got a little sliver left. I'll eat later. Hey, Hollywood. So, anyway, because I was sick on um, Bob Bob's standing here, buddy. I got Bob Bob's. Ah, ow, motherfuckers, get off of me. Sorry. <laughs> My damn drain just caught the door handle and pulled me back. Um, I got Bob Ops this weekend. Because I was in the hospital, my parents postponed Thanksgiving until tomorrow. So today, what we have to do... Man, I feel like I'm a new... This is still low-budget production. Ah. Um, uh, okay. I'm down. We're having Thanksgiving tomorrow. Sorry, I can't speak. We're having Thanksgiving tomorrow, and I need to make my macaroni and cheese today, which you all have seen me make a million times. It's the same recipe. I'm not doing anything fancy. And then um, also, I'm making deviled eggs. Baked beans, I'll make in the crock pot tomorrow. Usually I bake them. Of course, they're baked beans, but I need room. Yeah, okay, so... I want to say, first of all, Kim, Janie, Doug, and my stepmom have been absolutely my biggest helps all together. Like, so good. Doug has helped me a lot this week. And um, 
he went to Starbucks for me and got my drink. And I actually rode with him because I want to get out of the house. And I've seen that one of the drinks had whipped cream on it with a praline topping. So I got that on my chai and now I'm addicted to it. I'm like, I got to have that every time. But they, it almost cost a fucking dollar, a dollar more. So it's usually like four something, four seventy five for my drink. It was like five. It was almost a dollar more. It was five seventy five, let's say. And I was just like, shit. But it's so good. <laughs> so it's not every time, but every once or maybe once a week. Hollywood, okay, so it depends. It was going hour by hour, like one hour I feel pretty good, and then I feel like shit for about five hours, and then, you know, back and forth. I think we moved on to like, yesterday was a very bad day. Today was starting out to be a bad day, but then I started taking my medicine, I drained really good, cleaned up my wounds, I ate good, and I feel like today's going to be a good day. And I hope tomorrow's a good day, so... Right now, physically, I'm okay, but I'm also under a lot of medication, and, you know, that helps. Kitty Kins? But, um, I run into the problem now, like, because of all the blood and everything like that, I, I like, I'm, I have no underwear left. And not to mention, the underwear that I do have do not fit anymore. My sweatpants don't fit anymore. I'm, like, trying to hold them up. And so my sweatpants with the drawstrings, those are my best friends right now because I can pull them up to damn near my boobs and then tie them off. If I try to tie them off anywhere around my waist, it is so painful. Like, no way. So, or the kind, the stretchy kind that you can just pull all the way up. Those are my best friends right now. But they keep falling down. And uh, I knew that would be a problem. Once I get past all this shit, then I'll think about getting a new pair, slowly get new clothes, you know. But right now, other than physically just feeling like shit and all the infection and just trying to survive this, dying to be skinny is what I keep saying. I'm going to write a book called Dying to be Skinny, right, all about this. And uh, other than that, clothes and, yeah. I took a real long, hot shower today. The kind where you keep pumping up the you keep pumping up the heat because you want to stay in, you don't want to get out, it's too cold. I washed my hair, I shaved everything, I had to hold on for dear life. My biggest fear is that I'm gonna die because I slip in the shower, they're gonna find me naked with cold water running on me. Probably fucking legs in the air, who knows? But uh, I was holding on for dear life for a couple of those minutes. And it took me like it took me like 30 minutes to get dressed now. I because I gotta go so slow. Why well, you change my bandages, see what will fit, what won't fit, what will stay, you know, what won't fuck with my scars or anything. So today I put a little extra effort in there and I was, I was like, I'm going to do my makeup. <laughs> but I'm not going to get overly dressed because it's just too hard with everything you're in. I don't have any leggings that fit. I put on those uh, TikTok leggings that uh, one of my people got me last year for Christmas. Got me two different colors, the gray ones and the black ones. They're saggy in the butt. They like they fit okay around the waist. Like they're not too tight. They could be a little snugger, but in the butt where they're supposed to make you look good. I have no ass. I seen these shorts the other day on Amazon and they're kind of like little baseball or whatever kind of short, the, little, the shorts I wear, but it says, I have no ass. I was like, I need those. Or it said, I have no butt. Thank you, JJ. Cheeseburger money, honey. Thank you. Everyone has chat, JJ. I know it's not much. I don't care. Anything helps right now. Let me tell any fucking thing, guys. I'm proud of you, Kane and all. You are a champ. Thank you. I appreciate that. So I can tell you, I have not felt. That's why I haven't been live. One of my, I'm always live. I've been live every day for damn near 10 years. I could not even go live. There was nothing to say. What would you guys do? Sit there and watch me fucking bellyache and cry? I mean, I cried so much. I dehydrated myself. Um, so for those of you who aren't on my Patreon, I'll give you an update. So two weeks ago Thursday, I had uh, upper, lower, or whatever, upper and lower abdominal plasty. There's a word for it. I can't remember. And, um, I stayed in the hospital a few days. My friend Kim came into town. Is Kim in here? Um. 
anyway, she came into town for about a week and helped me when I was out of the hospital. And that was, I thought that was bad. I thought that I was in pain. No, nothing's compared to this week. Janie came into town too last weekend and helped me out. We didn't, I didn't get to really, we didn't, I don't have any exciting stories because I couldn't fucking move the whole time, really. We did go out to eat to this um, cool place, this cantina type Mexican restaurant. And there was a lot going on there. But uh, I couldn't stay very, I can walk very much. So this week I really was sick, sick. My temperature is high. Actually, today my temperature is 99, which is good because the last couple of days it's been over 100. So at one point when I even checked it, it was 98.7. I was like, oh, we're normal. I checked it, I don't know, maybe an hour or two ago and it was 99.1. Like so not even a temperature, okay? Um, and, I, and I feel way better than I have the last couple of days. Maybe it's the antibiotic, I'm not sure. Um, so anyways, Kim left about a week ago. Well, it was Monday. She left. It feels like a week ago. She was so much help. Janie left on Sunday. Doug's been helping me throughout this week. I got real sick this week. I had to go to the ER. Um, I, that's it. And like I said today, I don't know. I just feel a little better. Oh, yeah. And that was the other thing, part of my nutrition program. So the week before I had the surgery, because I was I have to do a review like every 60 days on it, because, well, first of all, I'm broke. That has nothing to fucking do with why I'm on here. It's because of my weight and being underweight and all this shit to do with my gastric bypass. OK, um, I just got to make sure that I eat enough. <laughs> my problem is, is I eat too much protein and I go into ketonin or whatever the fuck they call that. And I end up burning more more calories than I can take in. So. The biggest point of this program is to not stay in that. Well, unfortunately, when I went to the hospital, I found out I was in ketone, ketosis or whatever, ketonis or whatever. Again, so um, I drink pop, which I drink pop all the time. So I don't understand. But the past couple, this week, I've been drinking a lot of water just because I've been thirsty as hell. Um, but anyways, the week before my surgery, right? Because it was like the day after my surgery was my review. So all they said, go ahead and send everything in and so that you'll be fine. Well, I forgot to send one fucking paper in that I had filled out. So I missed my review. I got to do it all over again. And that's not until like the first of next month. So I didn't get my fucking things this month, which is fine. Thank God it's Thanksgiving and all that tomorrow. So I have plenty of leftovers. But for the next until he says stop i've got to really worry about maintaining weight now there's no more this losing weight gaining a few pounds losing five gaining three i have to maintain a weight because they took skin off you know and i think you guys will see once the swelling i can start to see i can see it now because it's my but i can look straight down you know what i mean but I got to get to the point because my metabolism runs so high, I cannot go under 130 pounds. And if I do, then it just it's just hard on my body. So the goal right now, and I'll have to see the nutrition. Okay, so Tuesday, I got to go see my doctor. And Thursday, I got to go see the fucking nutritionist, which whatever. And I didn't even fill out my food journal. I, I'm going to tell I'm going to tell my surgeon on Tuesday. Sorry, I, just, I had other things, bigger fish to fry. I was not writing down every day because I only took a couple bites at a time. Let me tell you. I didn't sit there and write down all the bites I took, but that's one of the things I'd have to do is maintain this food journal. Concentrate. So when I eat, and this is one of the things that, uh, so when I look at a plate of food, the first thing that I go to is like what I want to eat the most. I'll take like a bite of that. And then I like, used to just wait till the end to eat it but now i like to eat what i like to eat first because i'm scared i won't be able to get it all in so like say today i had the salmon and i had the uh shrimp and i had the double order of mashed potatoes and they had those little you know those onion tanglers i love those things i put them all in my mashed potatoes well i took a bite of mashed potatoes i love those but then i ended up eating the salmon and i had one bite of, i had one shrimp well i ended up eating so much salmon and that's where i fuck up because i end up eating more protein and then i'm full and i'm not getting in the other things so when i look at a plate of food i need to eat start out with the vegetables which i hate i don't want to eat no fucking vegetable i gotta eat the vegetables first then i need to i can't remember i think it's they want me to eat a bite of starch i don't know we'll learn all about that next week guys but i gotta start eating vegetables first and making the protein the last thing that i go for on the plate which is hard for me because i want to go for the meat who doesn't 
Like, think about it. When you got a plate of food, are you going for them damn veggies for hell? No, you're not. Like, a lot of people will eat it. Like, my dad today, he had a salad before the meal. Growing up, that's what we always did. You know, we had a salad. That was like a whole you over for, for your meals coming. But I've got to learn when I'm looking at a fucking plate of food, I got to go for the shit I don't like first. And even though I'm supposed to get my carbs up, I think I'm just going to give up bread this year because it does nothing but hurt my stomach. Um, it, it fills me up too fast. And yeah. I think I'm just going to do away with bread. I'll eat crackers, but I'm not going to eat like white bread or like even wheat bread. I'm not eating big bread anymore. Okay, never mind. I will eat a biscuit and I will eat cornbread. But other than that, no. Oh, yeah, I have a link tree. I finally did that. I'm up in 2000. What are we in? We're almost in 2024. When the fuck did that happen? God. I still feel like we're, it's 2001. Thank you, Just Lurking. I, yeah, I know. I don't, I, I haven't drank in forever. Feels like forever, but like three weeks, two, three weeks now. Yeah, I like biscuits too much. Hey, 073. I love a fucking biscuit, a buttermilk or a homemade biscuit. Not one of those out of the fucking can. Never mind that. But like a homemade one, yes, with butter and um, like honey or jelly on it or sausage and cheese and her gravy. <laughs> I'll eat it. Oh, and when I was at the, um, I got a question. When you do a CT scan, can they see if ulcers are in your stomach then? Or do you have to do a whole different test for that? Because I remember in May when I went into the emergency room at first, one of the things they did was that CT scan. And that's when they found out that I had a hole in my stomach from an ulcer. So I was wondering, can they, can they see it from a CT scan? Because if they, if they can, they absolutely said nothing about it. So I don't think I have ulcers right now. Oh, cool. Timu had to give me a $5 refund because of my, my, uh, my bag was late. Oh, rice. Rice, okay, sometimes. Like, I love fried rice, but I can't eat too much of it. That back years ago, when I first had my surgery, they called me seven bite rice because after like seven bites, I'd be crying and screaming, my stomach hurt and all that because I'm still trying to eat it now that I'm out like five years. Damn, it's been five years. Um, like, I know what I can eat and how much I can eat and shit. And I don't dump really anymore at all. I don't think I ever, I did a couple of times. I had a Donald switch with mine too. And I always forget about that. So I had this Ruin Y, which is, you know, your basic Ruin Y, but I had something also called a Donald switch, which makes like your taste buds change, or that's what the point of it is. Like uh, the things that you used to love, you're not supposed to love. And it did work for a while, but I think that's kind of changing. Like I did not like pop forever. And I didn't like chocolate there for in the beginning. Those were my favorite things. Pizza, I would not eat pizza. I didn't like it. So. I have gluten. I have gluten free bread in there. I have like um some of the pizzas that I eat that I get it like at the at the grocery store. I like the uh, cauliflower crust too. Um, it's crunchier and I can't taste the difference and it's a little easier on my stomach. When I go to Donato's, I like their cauliflower. I like the regular crust. Doesn't really hurt my stomach, but some pizza places really hurt my stomach because of the yeast and the gluten and all that shit in the bread. I don't know either. I can eat biscuit. I can eat bread. I just don't want to. It fills me up and then I don't get the nutrition that I need to. That's going to be the absolute from here on out. Making sure I get enough. And I never thought, oh my God. So I never thought in my life, you guys, that my problem would be that I have to keep, maintain weight. I have always had to lose weight. I've always been fat. Like, I don't remember a time, even when I wasn't fat, I was still fat. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm still big. Like, I don't think I'll ever be tiny at all. But I never in my life would I have thought that I would have the problems that I have now. Because just I never thought my fucking life would happen. Hey, Billy. Billy Lake. Um, yeah, like, having to worry about. 
maintaining weight. With that being said, for Christmas, if you guys want to send me all the goodies and the snackies and shit, I ate through all my snacks. Let me tell you, I did. All my gift card foods and stuff. Well, Kim was here too, and I didn't want to go hungry, and I didn't want to have her cooking, but she did make this incredible chicken and potato dish one night. Oh my God, it was so, I eat it. Okay, I, I don't eat leftovers often. Not because I'm a snob and don't want, it's just I never get to them. And my dog usually gets it before me. But she made this chicken. It's called Coke Chicken. And it, she marinates it in Coca-Cola and then wraps it in bacon and puts cheese on it and bakes it. Oh, it was so fucking good. I couldn't eat too much of it because it was really hearty. And then it had these cheesy potatoes beside it. It like had Velveeta and onion in it and bacon. I ate those potatoes a couple of times. I thought they were real good. Look, so today when I took that shower, I didn't, I couldn't stand long enough to blow dry my hair. So I just let it air dry for like the first time in probably years. I never let my hair, because it ends up like this. But I was looking at it today and I was like, if this was more puffy in the back, okay, and it looked puffy at the time. I was like, this is okay. This nose ring drives me nuts. This isn't too bad. My hair is definitely getting longer, and it almost looks, you remember, like, Meg Ryan in the early 2000s, and her hair was at Bob, but longer. This is what it reminds me of, of Meg Ryan hair, but longer. Yeah, I'm not going to dye my hair anymore, guys. No more bleach blonde or anything like that. I'm just going to let it go to gray or whatever it decides to come to. Uh, that's my thing, JJ. That is what they've been, and he, you know, they've said it again. I got to go see my nutritionist on Thursday, and she's going to pound into my head. I know, you know, like I said, this is the first time in my life. Mainly, they want you to eat the proteins and the veggies. I need to quit worrying about, pro I need to literally concentrate on veggies first. Like, if I have a plate of food, I need to eat all that vegetable before I move on to the next one. And then I need, basically, what she was saying is like, go back and forth. Um, and if we ever get to the point where, and she doesn't see this happening, where I need more protein, then yeah, we'll concentrate. But right now I'm in ketonin. I keep going back and forth. And that is a bad thing for me, I guess, because that means that I'm burning more calories than I'm using. Whatever, dude, it's always something. It's fucking riddle. I'm just going to cut out some bread and eat whatever the fuck I want. eat more sweets. You know what hurts my feelings, though? Let's have a talk about it. Let's see, come here. <laughs> Look at me. Mm. Well, the blonde damages my... Somebody's at my house. Who's here? I must have walked away because he quit barking. I heard, I heard foot or something. Um, hang on. I don't want to get up.
Ooh, I'm sitting down talking stuff. It's senior mail. Hold on, let me open it. Back in bill. And I know what it's for. Just don't know how much. How much is it? Okay. $173 for my insurance, but the good thing is this year my SR22 is up so I don't have to pay as much anymore. It'll go back down to like 70 bucks a month. With this SR22, it wouldn't be that much. It would really only be like $30 <laughs> extra, but I'm a scoundrel. And I thought that, you know, they'd only be watching for a little bit and then I'd be able to get rid of it. And that's what I did. And the state of Indiana figured that out. And then it suspended my license and I had to pay all these fees. And I have to absolutely maintain the SR-22 till June of 2024. So they got me and with the fees and uh, trying to be a fucking asshole, it's 170 bucks a month now. Oh, and here's the other thing. And if I don't pay it, my license is automatically suspended. Terms, I swear. God bless your soul. <laughs> Anyways, so that's that. And then I also got a team use package. That's what the uh that's what the cup was barking about. I got a new toilet bowl cleaner. And I got um I got a new toilet bowl cleaner. Oh, I got a couple of things that might help me uh hold my drains up. I got um a couple of uh like shirts you know not like these shirts but like I don't know, like the crop top type of shirts that i can wear on top of my scarves for right now and that's it and this isn't an exciting one it's a toilet bowl cleaner and this is just 14 dollars. i'll do i'll do an unopening or um ow god damn it unboxing later i gotta quit trying to move so fast much no it's not a it's a team you package and then in my mail i got a bill for insurance i still do um paperless i don't do or i don't do paperless i do bills because one i need a reminder because i guess i'm fucking immature and i just don't can't keep my shit together unless i have that reminder and then also if you sign up, I don't sign up for automatic payment either. Because sometimes I don't know if it's in my account. And I don't have it set up to where my account can withdraw. I have to turn it on. Which sometimes I do if it's that if it's like that bad. But um, I have it turned off most of the time. So Uh, person, they wanted me to file a uh, disability, short-term disability, and I didn't do it because I had saved a little bit of money. And um, the other part of it was I was a scoundrel again. And the last month or so I was working, I didn't have a fucking liquor license. So they would have looked that up and fought that in court immediately, and I would have lost, even though I got it reinstated now and all that because I got caught up on my taxes. Um, yeah, I didn't have a liquor license at the time, so they, they could have easily figured that out and then been like we're not paying our shit because of that and i wanted to still be able to come back to my job so which was a thing i was supposed to start back today of all days because i thought i'd be fine and i was like great which i already talked to it's all good um i said give me at least another week maybe two and i'll be back so yay and i'm, I'm gonna serve tables for a while i'm not gonna bartend until i can until i feel good or whatever so i know what the time is right you know what i mean
Oh, more sugar. And it's all I have to do anymore, so don't judge me. My um, mom's going to the grocery store. I need to get my fucking food, my uh, foodies, damn it. They're shit I want. But I told her to pick me up a gallon of milk, pecan pie. I'm on a kick with that right now. And Royal ate my other one. Um, and I'm trying to think if there was something else that I needed. So I can call it real fast and tell her, but I don't think so. I got plenty of food. It's just, you know, when you go and you get food and then you, you have it and it's just like, you don't want it. That's me. <laughs> I got plenty of food in there. But... Pecan pie. I'm making here in a minute. We're going to go in there and make my macaroni and cheese. The same, nothing special. It's the same recipe that I always make. Nothing special. Oh, fuck. Does this chat get stuck or is no one talking? I can't tell because I think I froze. Oh, here we go. Shit. My bad, guys. Hey, did you see that there's a like button on here, too? If you could hit the like button. We're new here. Look, everything's starting to heal and it itches. No, something went wrong. Hold on a second. Oh, let me... What did I do with that? <laughs> if you guys can see me, let me know because I cannot tell. Do I remove myself? Can you guys still see me? Let me know in the comments because I just had it said it's, something went wrong. I exited out, came back in, and it looks fine now, but I'm in two boxes. One says remove. I'm going to hit the remove. What? Hold on a second, because on my end, it looks so fucking weird. You guys can see me? For that and by... Guys, when I go live on here, if I'm going to do this Rumble thing, I got to find something other than StreamYard, because StreamYard is not compatible with Rumble. That's why I'm having so many problems. I finally figured out, like, Stream Key and RTMP, but now I've got to get something better. What should I use? Because right now, it has me everywhere. I shipped in one. What? What are you talking? Hang on. Can you see me now? It's fucking thing. If you can see me, put a one in the chat. If you can hear me, also put a one in the chat. Crazy crafting mom. You see two of me. Um, I think he uses a desktop. If you use a desktop, your life is so much easier streaming. But I don't have Wi-Fi, so I can't. I mean, I could use my hotspot, but it's it's not as good. And then plus, I'm stuck in one room, and I can't do that. Okay. You see me and hear me. All right, one more cigarette. We're gonna make this macaroni and cheese, anyways. Stomach hurts a little bit. 
Okay, I see the ones. Good. Is there still is there still two of me? Cause that one I really don't know. Why would it show two of me? Cause I'm so fucking good looking that they're like there has to be two. Actually, that's a lie. They were like, you need to look at yourself twice and get your shit together. Check out 30 stars with this favorite pair. You know, that's a, that's another, I don't know. Why do I look like a fucking chicken head with this hair? It's because I did the curly today. You know what? We're just going to have to do it. Stuff in my pants. And... Just stick that in there. No, no, no. No, no, no. My drinks, guys. You're wondering what that sound was. It sounded kind of gross, but it wasn't like that. There we go. <laughs> now it looks like I got major cans. That's a lie, and we all know that. All right, hang on. Let me refresh. I got to refresh the chat because I another downfall to this. See, I just think that all the issues will be solved if I quit streaming on StreamYards and I use something else. Because StreamYards is good for like YouTube and Twitch and all that, but they're not compatible with Kick either. And that's another one that I want to go on is Kick. So where where should I go? Yes, Fluster Cluck. I tried to vape. It just did nothing for me. And yeah, I'm half ass kicking my nose and half ass moving that little bar and that nose ring. Oh, shit. That's the other thing that's in that TMU package. I got four cubic zirconian, you know, uh, nose rings, and they're the bar, not the, like the barbell kind, not the kind with this little L that gets hooked. Every time I like blow my nose or if I like itch my nose real good, it wants to come out. So, Andy, someone thumbs down me. Hateful fucking things. Well, I didn't ask you to be here and I didn't ask you to watch. I didn't ask you to put a thumbs up. That's a good question. Where is the like button on here? Guys, I'm sorry. I'm fucking new to this too. We're all figuring this out together. If Rattle Can Ron can make it happen on here with his 20 uh, with, with his 20 viewers, then we can make it. All right. We got to like put our heads together and figure this out. And for one thing that I need to do is figure out a new streaming uh, service for sure. That'll be my job. Your job is to figure out the follow and the share buttons and all that and get the link for this. Because I once again, you know, I'm like fucking retarded when it comes to technology. Someone figure out the share button, the actual link to this. I know my mods have it, but I don't know if you can make mods on here. Okay, that's all I want to make. I think that's all you guys can handle. It's just one right now. What are you looking at, Ro? So what do you guys want to do? Do you want to stay on here or do you want to go to TikTok and go live? And there's the three dots uh, beside the comment button, apparently. You like Rumble, Andy? I'm trying to figure it out. This is my first time ever really being live. And um, one thing that I figured out is I can't see comments through StreamYards on here. So that's why I keep looking down at my iPad. And uh, yeah, other than that, that's my only issue so far. What did you guys do on Thanksgiving, by the way? I'm sure we all ate the same shit, so I'm not. But did anyone do anything exciting? 
like I told you, I was sick yesterday. So I laid on the couch all day. Well, I got out of the ER uh, Wednesday night. They didn't admit me. But I still I still didn't feel good yesterday at all. And I was draining. So, um, like I said, my parents postponed Thanksgiving tomorrow. And we ordered pizza. No, sausage and pepperoni. And then me and Doug um, shared a chicken cordon bleu uh, sub. And it was, that is my new favorite thing. A chicken cordon bleu sub. Not from Subway. But if it, Subway just will take a good sandwich and make it terrible. I wonder if it, you had Subby, Subby, Subway try to make a Monte Crisco, what they come up with. <laughs> it was good. It had grilled chicken on it. Um, it had black forest ham. We added bacon and um, provolone and Swiss cheese. And then it came with lettuce, tomato, and onion, all that. And I didn't want it, so we didn't get it on there. He doesn't like that shit either. Um, and it was so good. I don't know what dressing they put on it, but he, but you know, Doug is the pickiest eater you will ever run into. And he liked it. So now I know it's going to be like an easy go-to. And it was so good. Hundred and forty people and nobody's talking. Story of my life. It's a big ass truck coming. So what's up? Uh, get me caught up on what's happened the last couple weeks around um around YouTube. Now I've seen Foodie Booty, of course. She is so fucking boring. I don't understand what the watch is with her. Like I think people just watch her to see what she's eating and how much she's gonna eat. I don't think there's any other appeal than that. What? She's stuck in fucking Kuwait? She asked for it. And when's she coming home? Why'd she go there anyways? Yeah. Um, one thing that I learned deja vu in the deli department at Kroger, and well, in my mind's Kroger's, but wherever you go, get that boar's head sa deli sandwich dressing. It lasts forever. And man, that takes any sandwich over the top. It's basically oil and vinegar and spices, but it tastes like a Subway or like, like you went and bought the sandwich. I swear it's so good. You're not too old. Andy, TikTok is where it's at. TikTok is addicting. I love TikTok. There are... There are 80 year olds. There are every walk of life on TikTok. There's no age limit. Come on, running. All right. Ooh, it's nice and warm in here. All right, guys, we got a lot of shit to do. So, no more fucking around. Yeah. There we go. Whoa, why, why y'all? Hold on a second. Why do that? There we go. So, you know, I'm making macaroni and cheese. And I got, I got the water boiling already. Um. Ah, we need more water. I haven't been out there for a minute, so. I know everyone's like on this thing, like on TikTok and all the recipe places. Everybody who's making their macaroni and cheese is boiling uh, chicken broth and things like that. I'm not doing it. The flavor is somewhere else in this dish. It's not in the noodle. Plus, I rinse them off because I like them out and I wanted them to stop cooking. So, we have that boiling again. And then I got my eggs. They're, they're, they've already been boiled. They're cooled down. We're going to run them. We'll do that now. Fuck it. My dishwasher's broke. I, hang on. Okay. What? 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 What?
Want yours? Yeah. Oh, you can drink it. It's full up. Oh, man. No. I don't want to start leaking yet. It starts leaking from my incisions and it gets bad. Can't see all that. I'll get to it. Water's getting up to boil. Plug you guys in. Here we go. Now I'm just going to um, crack it. Get all the cells off. I boil these, and the reason I'm doing it like this, guys, is because my garbage disposal is fucking broke. I owe my landlord 250 on rent still, and I know if I call and tell them about this, they'll be like, oh, well, you see, you got that money to just give up over and use that to replace the garbage disposal. You know how they are, and I get it. So until I get that, I ain't going to fuck with them on it. Definitely a landlord issue. I could get one of my friends to fix it, but I'd still have to buy the damn garbage disposal, and I ain't got the money. So we're doing it over this cylinder, or whatever you call it, drainer. But look, I have found the easiest way to boil your eggs and get the skin to come right off, as you can see. Baking soda. Baking soda every time. I've been using this trick now the last few times, and let me tell you, I wish I knew it my whole life. It just comes right off, guys. You want to rinse it in cold water, of course, but I'm sure you know that. I watched a good movie this morning. Two good movies. Three! Last night I watched on Netflix, all of these are on Netflix. No hard feelings. Oh shit! I'll let the iPad go dead. I'm no good. Um, no hard feelings was one of them, and it's like it's just a cute movie. It's not. Damn it, iPad. Sorry, couldn't see the comments. Anyways, it's just a cute movie. It's nothing like too serious or anything like that. It's just cute. And then I watched um. The Irishman with uh, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, and they're old and they're playing gangsters. I think they're always playing gangsters and everything. And then watch the one with him. It was called Black Mirror. I watched it with Tim and Zanny, and oh my god, that's insane. But it's a good one. I don't know what's happening with this egg, but she wants to fuck me around. All right. Oh, that's seen better days. And then another good one is. It'll be okay, darling, or everything's okay, darling. That was a good one. Real good one. Yeah, both of these are clogged up. You're right. I got one more egg, and we're good. My sink's clogged up to hell and back. If you're wondering why I still have back rolls, is because I didn't do the back 
surgery like I originally wanted to because I didn't have enough money. Um, but I'll do that at a later date. All right, now that I got those all, don't eat the show, but I'm. Yes, charms, good actors. You always know if they're going to be in there, it's going to be like a gangster movie, and you know it's going to be a good one, too. Okay. All right, the water is boiling over here. I'm just going to use elbow macaroni. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just going to use elbow macaroni. Okay, so I'm just going to use elbow macaroni. Ooh. This is just open. That's okay. It's been open, but only a little bit out. Invasion. You didn't like how they ended it? I feel like I've seen that in the advertisement. Oh, look, we, get, we got some pinna pasta, too. So we'll do a little half and half. Actually, that was three quarters of a box, so we'll put out a quarter of a box. Yep, now we're going to have a box, guys. Oh, come on, Katie. You got to bend over. A little bit of olive oil in the water so the needles don't stick. They say that works. I really don't believe it. Hmm. Let those sit there and cook. Now we got the hard part. You guys aren't talking very much on here. At least on TikTok, the chat keeps going. And I don't feel like I'm talking my damn self. Alright, so in my feet, in my mac and cheese, I use four different kinds of cheese. I'm going to use puppy jack, extra sharp cheddar, mozzarella, and provarty. those in the freezer for a minute because cheese is just easier to grade when it's frozen i like tiktok a little bit better because people talk i can't even see who's in here who the non talkers are probably hussy and his uh group of 20 his 20 man army Yeah, she wanna hear from you. Good or bad, say what the fuck you guys say. We should have Negs come up. We should have Negs come live. Thank you, Boyd. Yeah, I got my drains in there. That went over to the side a little bit. I wish I had both H's top five. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Man, this is gonna, I'm gonna freeze this, guys. I'm gonna freeze. This is gonna be hard. Okay, Remember last time we made this motherfucker and it kept just crumbling in my hands and all that? That was because I didn't freeze it first. And I don't want to go through that again.
I'm thinking, oh, I keep thinking, am I am I draining or is it, I leave it? No, I'm not. You know how how he's such a follower and he can't go anywhere without getting his like feeling like he's going to be relevant or part of something. Now that I've moved to Rumble, how long do you think it'll be before he shows his ass over here? Because his Twitch channel is a fucking dud, and he's not going to be on fucking YouTube very much longer. And I know that for a fact. So, how long do you think it'll be? He can't, he can't help himself. He's done nothing but talk shit. Well, he's like, oh, I wonder how she's doing with her shirt. People have told me. Why the fuck do you care? Why the fuck do you care? I don't care about you. I don't care that you're defrauding the state of New York. I don't give a fuck that you're on a disability fraud. I don't give a fuck that you lied about having broke ribs and lost cell phones. And you're just, don't worry about me. I don't give a fuck. And I know you weren't sincere on it. You're just bored. You had no one to interact with you for a reason. You want to come and fuck with me like I want to fuck with you, and I do not. You want to talk? Don't worry about me, pussy ho. Leave me alone. Don't talk about me. Don't talk about my people. Quit letting your fucking people get bamboozled that these it, it, imposters out here with fake. Do you know I got about a million imposters out here, imitators? Your people fucking believe anything. Like I even mentioned you, I could get. I honestly, you were the last damn thing on my mind, hussy. Uh, these past few weeks, you're alive or dead. I don't know, and I don't care. See, that's what I'm scared of. I'm a little worried that this macaroni, the elbow, will get done first before the other. But we're just gonna go with it. He doesn't like to ask for money as the biggest grifter. He just sued somebody for money. You remember back in the day, like he is so new generation. Hussy is what is ruining YouTube is people like that. Back in the day, we said like the worst of the worst to each other. We didn't have to worry about court cases. We didn't have to worry about all that. But no, you get motherfuckers like this. They get their fucking feelings hurt and then they can play. They can play that this card. Oh, I'm, I'm this motherfucker. I'm that. I'm, you know, they got cards they can fucking play. And that's what they do. And, and you know what? Someone eventually is going to catch up to him, dude, because he's pissing not fucking people off. I truly believe that. It's going to catch up to him. Just like it caught up to Ron. He, I would say, unless he's like that second hate is, I think they hate him more than tragic. If you look at uh, my Twitter feed, and I follow a lot of like the girl world shit. Um, if you look at my Twitter feed, Hussy and Ron are like the most hated across the line. Like Tragic's in there too, every, you know, every few, but it's consistently Hussy and fucking Ron. I think the pasta is about down. So what we're going to do is we're going to drain the pasta, get it with a little bit of uh, water, cold water, so that it quits cooking. Any man of mine needs to know how to fix the fucking thing. I don't even care if he's ugly. Okay, we're going to drain the pasta. 
over there so that we can give those waters time to get time to go down. Well, since none of you are talking on here, I'm going to go to TikTok because this is boring. I'm going to make my macaroni and cheese where at least people will say, you're disgusting or I fucking love you. This is boring. Look at me at Chow Bye. 